My life be like. Give a shout out to everybody out there. I know uh, I get a lot of compliments on this car. Y'all ain't never seen it with the top down, so I figure I'd show it to you one time, baby. One time, shit. Little American Muscle. Any Michigan fans know anything about that American Muscle up there? Boy, y'all found out about that Alabama Muscle Saturday night, didn't you? Woo! Well, we got the damn cricket stirring around here. Hell, it's just the way it is down here in the south, baby. As I was saying, you know, uh, Michigan, I think, uh, I think y'all are overrated. I think, uh, you know, I kind of, y'all kind of proved that in the game Saturday night. Uh, you know, just goes to show about these preseason polls, you know, they come out with uh, USC being number one, and you know, you had all these damn US, USC Trojans up here chirping about their little preseason ranking. And then uh, when Alabama tops them, you got their players on the sidelines. Oh, it don't really matter. It don't really matter. But really, it really does to them. It really does to them because they really hadn't won shit. And they think they're on top of the damn food chain right now. And they're damn mistaken. You know, uh, I don't see no Reggie Bushes running out there no more. I don't see no McKnight's running out anymore, you know, with their hands out. And, uh, you know, I think USC Trojans are uh, in for a rude awakening after this year. After old Matt Berkeley down there, Mr. Uh, Mr. California, how they end up, you know, at the end of the damn year. But uh, on to the Alabama game, you know, we got the damn, uh, the damn Hilltoppers. From Kentucky coming on down here, and uh, hell, they, uh, they returned some damn starters there, and uh, I think they got 16 return stars coming back, and uh, uh, they didn't go to a bowl game, but uh, you know they lost four straight games coming out, and I think they won. I think they won four or five out of six after that. So uh, you know they they finished strong, and uh, I expect them to come in Tuscaloosa and try to get some, but uh, you know they'll they'll see they're overwhelmed, and uh, I just hope we don't come out of that game with injuries. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to the to the Alabama offensive line playing a great, great football game. I mean, when you average over five yards of carry without your running back being touched, that's just total domination. And, uh, you know, it's just like I've been saying, you know, uh, this offensive line could be the best ever, you know, that ever come through Alabama. And, uh, you know, it's just fun to watch them play. And, uh, you know, a uh, big shout out to the uh, defense play great. Uh, you know, like I said, Vinny the Knife would come in there and make plays. He did. Uh, D. Milner, I don't know why Michigan kept trying to throw on D. Milner, our best DB. Shit right there, because they shouldn't have, they should never come at them, D. Milner, like that. D. had a great game. I thought Deion Blue played great until, you know, he had a, you know, he got beat on that play there at the end of the half. But, you know, you up 31 nothing there. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, shit like that happens especially when you got different personnel in. I think we were starting to sub in a lot of players at the time on D. Uh, I think Xavier Dixon played great. I think Damian Square played great. Uh, C.J. Mosley did his thing, tying uh, Antonio Langham for career return, interceptions for return for touchdowns. Uh, big ups to him. Uh, Nico Johnson played great. Robert Lester did his thing. He seemed like he's grown up, been a leader out there. And you know, it's a, uh, it's Katie bar the door, you know, I'm excited about it, you know, uh, we got Arkansas in two weeks, I just hope we come out of this game, you know, with a, against a pretty good, pretty good Sun Belt football team, you know, they're not a bottom of the heat, you know, they're probably up there with Troy, you know, teams like that, Arkansas State. You know, as a prediction, I'm going to say 49-3, uh, to 3. I don't think they'll score a touchdown on us. Uh, you know, I think we'll have cheerleaders in by the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, it'll be status quo. It'll be status quo as uh, we get ready for the damn hogs. You know, we got to go to Fayetteville in two weeks. Uh, you know, we got some other big games coming up. Uh, got my Cowboys tonight. They're playing the damn New York, New York football giants, as we call them, the Smurfs, on here. And uh, 
you know, uh, good luck to them. I hope they put it on the damn Giants tonight. Start off with a win. Uh, got a tough schedule. But, uh, you know, Cowboys fans, we don't make excuses. We just play them as we see them. And, uh, you know, you're going to have to play NFL. You're going to play any given Sunday. It's going to be a dog fight. That's just the way it is. But uh, good luck to them tonight. And, um, you know, got a couple of big games coming up this weekend. Got the Florida Gators against the Texas A&M Aggies. And uh, until uh, Texas A&M can win in the SEC, I'm going to pick the Gators. And, you know, uh, I think that score is going to be 31-27. Uh, I think that's going to be a good prediction on that score. I think uh, Florida's going to open up that offense. Didn't look pretty stagnant this past week. I think they're going to open it up and do the damn thing. And you got the damn Georgia Bull bitches versus the damn uh, Show Me State over there in Missouri, the Missouri Tigers there. And uh, I think Georgia's going to go in there and show them what the SEC is all about. You know, I've been up here talking a lot of shit about Georgia, and that's because I do think they are the class in the East at this time. And uh, and uh, we'll see. This game will be a, a telltale sign with the Georgia Bulldogs, but I do think they'll go in there and win that game. And I think they'll I think they'll pull away. I think it'll be 38 to 21. I'm picking 38 to 21 in that game. You know, those are high scoring games, but you usually see a lot of high scoring games early in the season. That's why I chose them scores. And uh, hell, I didn't give predictions to the Cowboys tonight. I'm gonna pick the Cowboys, and I got the Cowboys winning this game 27-24 with a late field goal. You know, uh, always a pretty tight game. Always comes down to a field goal or something like that. But uh, shout outs to Gus together. Thanks for getting them tickets out to me. So with that being said, there's only one thing for me to say from down here, and that's roll tide roll. One time up in this bitch, baby.